Hi, my name's Josh. I'm the marketing assistant here at EBC Breaks. Recently, we've been getting loads of questions across our social media platforms. So today we decided we'd have a crack at answering some of them. How often should you change your brake pads? It's very difficult to quantify a mileage or period of time. Pad wear will depend on a range of factors like the pad compound, disc type, vehicle type, and how the vehicle is being driven. Always keep an eye on the amount of compound material remaining on your pads. Many pads from EBC are supplied with an audible wear warning clip or screech clip. When pad material wears to a point that requires replacement, this clip will make contact with the brake disc, creating this screech to alert the driver. Modern vehicles are increasingly becoming supplied with electronic wear sensors. These are either supplied connected to the pad compound or can be purchased separately as an EFA reference from EBC Brakes. Why are your brakes squealing? Squealing brakes are caused by high frequency vibrations between pad, disc and caliper. These vibrations are created as a result of friction between pad and rotating disc. This is caused by a number of factors, mainly pad friction and pad fitment within the caliper. If pads are not used correctly or the incorrect compound is chosen for the application, they can then become glazed with a mirrored finish to their surface. This massively reduces the friction of the pad and can cause squeal during braking. Pads fitted without lubrication or an anti-squeal shim can also aggravate this squeal. Pads can also squeal early in their life, normally within the first five to 600 miles on used discs and then up to 1,000 to 1,200 miles on new discs. Please ensure you follow our bedding in instructions. Self-adhesive anti-squeal shims can also be supplied by EBC to reduce this risk of squeal. Which brakes do the most work? During braking, the center of gravity of the vehicle is thrown forwards towards the front axle. Typically, front wheel drive cars have a bias of around 80-20 front rear, and rear wheel drive cars have a bias of around 70-30 front rear. This explains why the rear discs and pads on a vehicle are normally smaller than those fitted to the front. Taking this into account is very important to maintain a balance between friction material front and rear. EBC technical advisors are always on hand to discuss the best requirements for your application. Can brakes work without brake fluid? No. Brakes require the fluid that is pushed through your brake line so they can work properly. Therefore, it's critical to always check your brake fluid levels. If you ever change your own brake pads and you have to disconnect the lines from your vehicle to caliper, they will need to be bled to remove any air that may have entered the system. Excess air in your braking system will cause a soft pedal requiring more force to carry out efficient braking. Why does your brake pedal feel squishy? If your brake pedal feels squishy, this could be linked to the brake lines and fluid levels in them. For example, if there is air in your brake lines or the fluid level is low, it could cause your brake pedal to fall closer to the floor before the brakes actually start to engage. If you ever find this happening to your brakes, the system should be bled as soon as possible before moving to other troubleshooting steps if required. Why do performance brake discs have grooves and dimples in them? There are a few reasons why performance discs have grooves and dimples machined into them. The friction between pad and disc under braking can produce lots of excess heat, which can eventually lead to brake fade. These dimple and grooves help dissipate heat, which keeps the disc at a lower temperature. They can also help channel water and other unwanted material away from the contact surface. This then helps the pad and disc to maintain maximum friction. EBC discs are sourced from our European supply foundries as plain flat discs. Our famous groove patterns are then machined into these discs here at our Northampton headquarters using state-of-the-art CNC machinery. Why do people use stainless steel braided brake lines and hoses? Stainless steel braided lines do not swell or expand under use and can better deal with the pressure acquired in a braking system. This will improve the lifespan of the braking system and also gives the driver a better feel or feedback from the pedal as their effort is used more efficiently, leading to a firmer pedal. The stainless steel braid, protected by a rubber casing, better improves the durability of the brake lines, which can be susceptible to corrosion and damage, being exposed outside of the vehicle chassis. 
Why are some car discs one piece and others two piece? Usually, OE brake discs are single piece and this is typically down to the cost during manufacture as well as the needs required from the application. From a cost perspective, a single piece disc is able to meet the needs and demands of both the car and the driver with ease. A lot of high-end or sports cars are now being fitted with a two-piece disc as standard as there are many significant advantages to a two-piece disc in high-performance applications. Two-piece discs also offer many advantages over single-piece discs when being used on track or under race conditions. A two-piece brake disc has two main components. A cast iron ring that will come in contact with the brake pads. EP Brakes Racing uses only the highest quality disc alloy available in our two-piece discs. In the production process, these cast iron rings are balance checked, metallurgy checked, and then precision double disc ground for perfect accuracy and flatness to within microns. The other main component is a centerpiece called a bell or a hat made of aluminium. The mounting belts using EBC Brakes Racing's two-piece discs are each precision machined from a billet of aerospace grade aluminium, ensuring they are both strong and lightweight. The bells are subsequently black anodized, providing an aesthetically pleasing and corrosion resistant finish, allowing the mounting bells to be reused for multiple outer friction rings, thus leading to a lower long-term running cost. Now, moving on to some of the advantages of our two-piece discs. All cast iron rings feature 48 curved veins and are handed left and right, ensuring the veins always rotate in the correct direction, giving the maximum cooling efficiency. The fact that EBC Brakes Racing's two-piece discs offer a significant weight saving compared to similar size brake discs leads to improvements in acceleration, dive under braking, and tire road holding, particularly in the case of SG2FC two-piece conversions. The improvements in response of the vehicle before and after the upgrade is profound and highly perceptible by the driver. Lower operating temperatures help delay the onset of brake fade. There's better heat dissipation, increased airflow, and reuse of high quality components, coupled with the fact that EBC fully floating discs are far less prone to disc cracking, which results in long-term disc running costs that is not all dissimilar from a much cheaper and much lower performance one-piece cast iron disc. However, these discs are not a track-only product. Features such as the hard anodized hubs, stainless steel hardware, and the incorporation of anti-rattle clips mean that these discs are road-friendly, making them the perfect choice for customers who enjoy regular track days, yet also drive their cars on public highways. What does the DOT mean in brake fluid and what should I look out for? DOT is a system that was created by the Department of Transport in America, which grades brake fluids based on their boiling points. Different grades of DOT brake fluid have different dry and wet boiling points. More details on this can be found in the technical articles on our website. DOT4 is the most common and is great for street applications. DOT5 has a higher boiling point, but is not suitable for all applications. Here at EBC, we offer a wide variety of brake fluid options for all applications. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, hopefully that's answered most of your questions. If you have any more, drop them in the comments below and we'll answer them in the next video. See you then.